हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम बैक विद न्यू वीडियो सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ डाटाबेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम सो व्हाट इज द करेक्टरिस्टिक्स दीज आर द फीचर्स ओके फीचर्स ऑफ डाटाबेस द वर्ड करेक्टरिस्टिक्स मींस फीचर ऑफ समथिंग सो द फर्स्ट फीचर इज सेल्फ डिस्क्राइबिंग नेचर ऑफ अ डाटा बेस सिस्टम दैट मीन्स इट इज एबल टू डिस्क्राइब इट सेल्फ दैट मीन्स डी कंटेन्स not only the database but also the description of the data that means whenever you are storing the data in the form of table it is not like that uh, you are storing the data which is held inside it okay inside these uh, columns and rows but along with that that which kind of structure we are following okay like uh, the definition of the structure also that means how many columns are there how many rows are there and uh, which kind of constraints we are using in it constraint means the uh, rules and regulations like a primary key foreign key like all of these uh, data uh, database management system is storing separately do not confuse with the term dbms and the database database is a feature which is come inside the database management system because that, that is dbms database management system or software you can say it is a kind of software which we are using to make the databases okay in databases we are storing the data along with that uh, the dbms is also able to store the structure of data separately so that is what uh, they are telling us that dbms contains not only the database in which the data we have but also description of the data that means which kind of data we are using inside it and uh, how many rows are there how many constraints we are using inside it so this description of data is called metadata which is data about data so metadata is stored inside the database catalog or the data dictionary it is just like that uh, if we want to understand something uh, just like uh if you are uh, learning this thing no right now we are learning this concept uh, characteristics if i uh, gave you description of the topic but inside also if you doesn't know the meaning of the word program you are looking at uh, the dictionary of that what is the meaning of the program but that program word is coming inside this topic so you are searching data about data like right now i'm uh, telling you about this uh, information and along with that i will tell you what is data what is a word what program means okay th that is another dimension but we are covering this one also so that thing database management system gives a facility that it stores the database and inside the database whatever the thing data we have that they are storing it but along with that structure also that what kind of facilities what kind of uh, you can say uh, instructions they are following rules and regulation constraints you can say do not confuse a lot okay the simple thing you need to remember the data about data metadata is also stored inside database management system this is the best feature of it and metadata is stored in a database catalog or a data dictionary so it contains the structure of the data and also the constraints that are imposed on data so which constraints are imposed on data like primary key foreign key candidate key and a lot more are there so this is that much simple the thing is do not uh, mix up all the things together second is uh, insulation between programs and data that means uh, since the definition of data is stored separately in the database because definition is st uh, stored separately and data is stored separately any changes in the structure of the data would be done in the catalog and hence the program which access this data needs to be modified like uh, if we are changing the structure of the data in which we are st storing the data itself so automatically the data which we are storing it affects also so this property is called program data independence that uh, may or may not be the data will be affected during uh, like uh, when we are changing the structure of it so the last one is sharing of data 
that uh, when we are using database software database management software at that time uh, there is multiple users inside it who are using the databases and uh, each of the uh, authorized person who is using the database have their username and password so multi user environment is there that allows multiple users to access the database simultaneously at the same time that means the other database management system must include concurrency that means duplicacy because uh, it uh, like there is a possibility like uh, i am going to add one query like uh, i mean uh, if i am uh, adding one new students data in the database and at the same time the another person who is entering the data and the same student data maybe that person is also adding so there is a possibility that the that we both are adding the same students data uh, in the record and that uh, same students data is added multiple time two or more than two time so this is called concurrency so we need to control it and uh, that software to allow simultaneous access of data also and in this database without inconsistency problem we need to remove the inconsistency in it okay so this is what the characteristics are available in the cbse book you can check out and you can read one more time you can easily understand that thing okay if you uh, still have some confusion regarding the characteristics you can comment below and if you want a detailed video on it or any another topic you want to make a video and uh, you can ask in the comments i'll make it for you and uh, thanks for watching see you in the next video take care